answers. It's quite a long question that. Let me just dig back into it. So sometimes I find some holes in the schedule. I use it for short intervals or in the case of the level three power block. So Richie's uh, referring to some of the specifics from the program now. Um, he'll, he'll do explosive the explosive repeat session. Do you think this is the best idea? Uh, in pad work, sometimes I'm near to threshold training, sometimes probably over this. So yeah, the explosive repeat sessions are, are working on that power endurance. It's another more neural stimulus as well as the, the energetic side of it. So we've got that aspect in there. So where that's called for in the program, just try to slide that in where you can. And then you mentioned pad work being near threshold training, but that is exactly what pad work is. Most of the time that is at your anaerobic threshold. So that's, if you've not come across that for, for everybody, your anaerobic threshold is the point at which you can produce the most power consistently without having to slow down. So it's the maximum rate of work that you can you can output without having to slow down. I'll post a link to a video and an article that I've done which does a better job of explaining that. But that's what um, the pad work training is. It's effectively threshold training. Any threshold training we have programmed as a conditioning session in the program is to work that same uh, benefit both locally in the muscles and centrally in the cardiovascular system, but while reducing the overuse that you're perhaps getting from all the tie boxing training. So that's the purpose of that. But if you're in Thailand, you're getting all your threshold training really from your pad work. So you don't really need to worry too much about the supplemental additional threshold training as a conditioning session so much. So don't worry about having to drop those. So I thought I'd work aerobic system with small runs of 30 to 40 minutes, a lactic system for strength and power, etc. during strength sessions and threshold tra training during pad work sessions. Um, yeah, perfect. So um, with the, the volume of training that you're doing in Thailand, you need to make sure you're working your recovery. And the 30 to 40 minute uh, aerobic system what would be like a cardiac output run if you were using like the Joel Jameson method that we've got in the program. That's gonna act as active recovery to recharge everything. So yeah, good move. You need plenty of recovery while you're in Thailand. Um, and so that's for the aerobic system. Then you've got the alactic system. So you've got your anaerobic alactic work there with the strength and power we're doing in the gym sessions. That's what that's about. Lots of rest, but high force. And then we've got the tie boxing, which is giving you more your power endurance and your threshold training. And then your conditioning uh, sessions are also mixing in amongst that to fill the gaps that you're not getting in your tie boxing training.